what's up y'all it is i madeline it is i in the flesh in the flesh so before i start this video because y'all know i have to encourage y'all to do this make sure that you like the video okay these are ways that you can support the channel like the video comment under the video all right comment you can say hey girl hey what's up maddie i support you girl leave some emojis whatever okay if you're feeling real supportive share the video okay that's kind of it that's those are the ways that you support the channel because everybody's always talking about maddie i love you girl i like your videos girl but y'all don't be liking y'all don't be sharing y'all don't be commenting y'all don't be doing none of that good stuff that shows that you support the channel and a lot of y'all don't even subscribe which we not even gonna talk about you know if you like my channel you're supposed to be subscribed how dare you i work so hard on this content and you not even ooh, ooh, ooh. baby So if you guys watch the channel, you know that I just did a life update not too long ago. Okay. I just did a life update less than a week ago. Well, when I'm recording this, it was less than a week ago. I ain't no telling when I'm going to post this, but at such time that I'm recording this, it was less than a week ago. And I updated you guys on quite a bit of things. And in this video, I just kind of want to, I want to touch on a few topics in this video because, woo, chat. I just want to I just want to touch on a few things in this video so I want to update you guys on the whole entire job situation um, with my job I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and throw in the towel with that okay for anyone who is curious about that I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the towel with that because I just can't do it no more you know I realize that the nine to five life is not for everybody and that's okay you know it's not for everybody um, and I was beyond stressed working this job. Let me tell y'all something. My feet don't look the same. My whole entire body has transformed itself. I have lost so much weight. Okay, I have lost so much weight. I went from being 145 to 150 to 132. Okay, that's a big weight jump in just two months. And that's because... You know, when you go to these jobs, you're working a 10-hour shift, and in between that, you only have a 30-minute lunch break and two 15-minute breaks, okay? So, a lot of my time, I'm not sitting around. A lot of my time, I'm moving around, I'm doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that, um, so my body overexerts itself, okay? I'm sweating a lot, okay? So, that means that I'm doing a ton of cardio, basically, and this is what has caused me to lose so much weight. I can put on weight and I can hold on to it as long as I'm not doing too much. But when I start doing too much cardio, baby, that weight is going to fall off. And that's exactly what happened to me at this job. And I don't like it, okay? I like my face being a little chubby, okay? I like my thick thighs. I like my booty to sit out right, okay? And the fact that this job has drained me this much in these past two months is crazy. Um, and another reason why I had to leave. Um, at my job, um, I work around a lot of guys because obviously it's a warehouse, right? And it almost started to feel like to me, like every guy in the building was after me. And one of the guys there actually told me, but it's like, yeah, like all the guys discuss you and um, they found my social media. They found everything, you guys. And it's almost like you start to feel threatened. It's like you start to be like, should I be concerned about my safety? Like there was a guy that would follow me out to my car consistently like it's like you start to feel concerned because it's like I've never worked in that type of environment before and yes a lot of the people that work there are cool but it started to get a little bit stalker stalkerish to say the least um and I just can't I can't do that I really I can't do that at this current moment in time although I enjoyed my job at the time that I was there and really in the beginning of 
having my job there I really enjoyed it and my plan was to work up you know my plan was to stay there for years to work up you know um but I just can't I can't do it I, I can't do it glam fam like they have drained me so much and now another reason why I'm leaving is such an unusual schedule it is such an unusual schedule to get up at 2 40 a.m go to work work for 10 hours so when you go in it's dark outside and when you leave outside of that building it's daylight okay y'all don't understand how draining that is because it's almost like you're a damn vampire so this is what i've decided i'm about to leave my job live on camera okay i'm quitting my job with you guys <sighs> because I just mm -mm. like I just can't do this so let's see we're quitting continue and we're going to continue to resign you guys I can't tell y'all how free I feel at this moment to have my life to myself again okay I'm so tired of having to report into people I'm so tired of being around people who don't do their job and yeah I'm a hard-working individual so everybody's depending on me like hey tell Maddie to do XYZ tell Maddie to do this tell Maddie to do that and it's like I'm still getting the same amount as everybody else why overwork me why and not only that but we just moved buildings i haven't even been to the new building um and it's a further drive than what i'm even doing now it's just like really now i'm going to explain in a different video exactly where i was working um exactly you know what was going on like the whole entire stipulations of everything but just the fact that i started to feel unsafe for one um i started to feel I don't know like I can't describe the feeling that I felt but every time that I would walk in that building I would feel sick I would just feel like claustrophobic and that's crazy because it's this big huge building but I would feel so claustrophobic in that building it's just like why am I here like I just don't feel like I'm getting the employee appreciation that I need and a lot of people say that you know if you go into a job right you you will never feel that okay you could drop dead on the floor and they're going to continue with business as usual after your body is picked up and out of the way and i just feel like i can't do that now of course jobs are around for a reason somebody always has to work the damn job but baby it ain't gonna be me all right it ain't gonna be me it's just not um but kudos to everyone stay on your day jobs if you're able to i just i feel like it's great for the benefits and for a lot of different things that it offers and you can meet a lot of nice people at jobs but as for me and my house as for me and my house i just can't do it no more i i just can't now since i've mentioned that every time that i went in that building i felt sick as y'all know i had covid this past month and um oh child this was my first time ever having COVID. Um, Y'all know COVID has been around since 2019 now. This is my first time having COVID this year. And of course, it was due to all the interactions that I was having. Of course, if you're around in a warehouse, there's packages getting passed from this end of the building all the way to this end of the building. And it's just like it's constant, right? So one person touches at one end, germs. It gets passed on to this end, germs. And it's just like it's nasty everybody's coughing so whenever you receive a package whether it be from Amazon FedEx UPS wherever just make sure that you lie saw it down because it's a ton of germs on those packages with that being said if you guys watched one of my previous vlogs y'all know that my man gave me a COVID test and um his COVID test didn't come out accurate because y'all see my baby he um he didn't he didn't stick it all the way up my nose okay i made it very clear that i didn't want it stuck all the way up my nose um so when i went into the doctor's office and she pressed it all the way up my nose i was like i don't want this job no more i don't even like taking covid tests like baby 
it ain't for me. So I ended up catching COVID from my job, of course, quite naturally. And I just, I'm tired of being there also because of that. Because I don't want to be sick any longer. I cannot bear to get sick anymore this year. Okay, that's like my third time. I can't do it. And I have not been sick in two years. Okay, I, I ain't been sick in two years. So why all of a sudden when I come in y'all building, I'm getting sick all of a sudden? Baby, no. Baby, no. Hold your horses. Hell no. No. Now, I also wanted to stop and talk about dating really quickly um, because I know that, you know, I've mentioned I am currently in a relationship and you guys, I am, oh, child, I'm in love with that man. I, I'm in love with that man, truly. Oh, truly. I have known him my whole entire life, which is the crazy part. And I have never, ever, Felt like that in my life okay never felt like this in my life okay um <laughs> that's kind of all that I have to say about that but I want to say when it comes to dating like dating nowadays is so crazy so to meet someone who really has the same genuine interest that you do and you two get along well and everything is just meshing and you know everything's going right it's really a good, good feeling. So I'm going to be having a little bit more of him here on my channel. Um, and eventually I want to kind of branch off into having like more so of a lifestyle channel. Like more so of a family channel as to where you guys can progress with me. Um, because there's a lot of ladies that I watch here. And I really admire the fact of them being able to show their lives. Their day to day. Um, just their day to day life. And um show themselves growing up in a sense because I was discussing this with my mom the other day and I was like that's one of the reasons why I really admire Keisha Kaylee because it's like she started off as this young girl in college and then you guys were able to see her progress into being who she is today and you know with her beautiful daughters I just felt like that's a that's a growth journey okay now I'm not trying to be like anybody specific I just want to be like Maddie, okay, and share with you guys my life because as I grow older, there's so much stuff that I'm realizing that I'm interested in. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I love doing self-care videos, but they are so closed off compared to like lifestyle videos. So I just want you guys to be on the lookout for this shift that is coming to my channel um, because it definitely will be, you know, a lot of that coming in soon um but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up Shh, comment down below to show some support girl um and yeah just just stay tuned just stay tuned for all future uploads because they are coming honey and i'm gonna see you guys in my next one always remember to keep glamming girlfriend okay if you don't know how to do nothing else keep glamming okay all right that's kind of it. Keep a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your better. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey. Already got the world on me. Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your better. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey. Better way. Oh, hey. Mom and dad's only. Daughter, do I make you proud?